హలో చిల్డ్రన్ గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ వెల్కమ్ టు అవర్ అనాన్షర్ అకాడమీ సో ఈ రోజు మన టాపిక్ ఏంటంటే క్వశ్చన్ ట్యాగ్స్ ఓకే సో టుడే అవర్ టాపిక్ ఈస్ క్వశ్చన్ ట్యాగ్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద క్వశ్చన్ ట్యాగ్ క్వశ్చన్ ట్యాగ్ మీన్స్ షార్ట్ క్వశ్చన్స్ ఫర్ ద స్టేట్మెంట్ ఓకే వీ హ్యావ్ టు ఫ్రేమ్ అ షార్ట్ క్వశ్చన్స్ ఫర్ ద స్టేట్మెంట్ ఇఫ్ యూ గివ్ అన్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ uh ramu is uh, eating for this statement we have to form a short question what is the use of this uh, question tags it is used for uh, confirmation okay it is used to for confirmation or agreement okay so ramu is eating how we have to form this uh, short question just it is it is only help of helping verbs plus pronoun plus question mark if the statement is in positive we have to frame a, a negative short question if the statement is in negative we have to form a positive uh, short question okay is this sentence is in uh, positive or negative the sentence is in positive so we have to frame a short question in a negative sense oh, sorry negative okay so how we have to form just helping verb this structure is only used for um negative to positive this structure is useful positive to negative positive to negative we have to frame a question a uh, helping verb plus int plus pronoun plus question mark okay so positive to uh, positive statement to negative statement we have to convert a positive to negative how we will convert just using of the helping verb okay what are helping verbs there are some helping verbs is am are have has had do does did okay these are the helping verbs and uh, was were sorry was were okay and we have to form a contraction contraction means uh, is plus int is plus not it it form as a is int okay next am um, it is a special rule i will tell you later okay next r plus not it form as a r int we have to write r int not a r not okay next have plus not have int has plus not had plus not do plus not does plus not how it will form hasn't hasn't hadn't don't doesn't didn't wasn't word okay these are the contractions okay contraction just we use these helping with the help of the helping verbs just we have to frame a question, uh, question tag okay next <coughs> and there are some rules for to frame a question tag what are the rules means uh, we have to write a uh, lower case letters okay we have to use only lower case letters lower case letter means small a small b small d small e 
we have to use only lower case letters and uh, we have to write the statement beside of the uh, statement okay we have to frame a question tag beside of the statement by using compulsory question mark okay we have to use a question mark for the end of the uh, short question next third rule except except i remaining letters all are we, we have to use only a lower case letters next we use only a pronouns not a nouns we use only pronouns not nouns okay we should not use the nouns only we have to use the pronouns these are the rules uh, for a question tag now let us see a rule uh, some rules of the question tag so rule number 1 already we have discussed about rule number 1 what is the rule number 1 when the statement is in positive we have to uh, frame a short question in negative so if you take an example sita is sita is going to market sita is going to market this is how the question will be okay now how uh, we have to convert sir now how we frame the question tag just with the help of a uh, structure already we have discussed structure positive to negative the structure is helping verb plus int plus pronoun plus question mark am i correct this is the structure so in this statement what is the helping verb is so lower case letter is after that statement is in uh, positive so we have to write negative int we should not use not we use only int next sita sita is a feminine gender it tells about a female so female already we discussed we have to write only a pronoun so female means we should write she masculine masculine means a male so when we discuss about the masculine gender we have to use the pronoun he when we discuss about the things like books pens we have to use it pronoun okay so now we are uh, in this statement sita is a feminine gender so feminine gender means we should use the pronoun she so is in she is in she okay next rule number 2 if you take same example but uh, okay sita is not going sita is not going to market sita is not going to market so rule number 1 is if the statement is in positive so rule number 2 is statement is in negative so we have to convert as sorry we have to frame a question tag so negative to positive negative to positive just the structure is helping verb plus pronoun plus question mark okay we should not use int okay now helping verb is sita is a feminine gender so the pronoun is she okay do you understand next if you take another example they are playing football so say first of all what is the first rule just we have to observe statement is in positive or negative so what the statement is in positive so just frame a question mark sorry negative aren't they 
aren't they we should not use a capital letter except i aren't they okay next rule number 3 rule number 3 okay what is the rule number 3 So rule number three: If we use the sentence uh, with the help of uh, am, if the sentence is in am, so we have to use am plus not. Yeah, my am aren't it? Okay. If you take uh, some example like. Um, i am watching tv i am watching tv so the statement is the statement is in pause uh, positive so just you have to frame a negative question tag am i correct so negative question tag means when there is a am helping verb we should use the r in time we should use are in time remember this rule is very very important okay so just we have to use are in i if the statement is in negative like i am not watching tv or not playing cricket i am watching tv so then we have to use the am plus not we have to use Yeah, my. Yeah, plus not. Yeah, my. I am watching TV. Is the sentence is in positive to negative? So when the uh, helping verb is am, we have to use are in time. When the helping verb am plus not, we have to use yeah, my. Okay. This rule is very very important. next rule number 4 so what is rule number 4 <laughs> okay so if there is no helping verb what we have to do is there any other chance to make a question tag yes there are some cases uh, in present tense there is no helping verb present tense and simple present tense and simple past tense there is no helping verb so how it will be uh, right as a question tag so just see <clears throat> for example he goes to temple he goes to temple he goes to temple in this sentence is there any uh, helping verb no so how it will form there are if there is no helping verb just we have to use do does did then when we have to use do does did do and does for do i we you they if the pronouns are i we you they we have to just use a do if the pronoun he she it or any name singular names then we have to use does and do plus v1 if there is only a verb one we have to use do or does next when we use did if the statement has a past tense the statement is in past tense then we have to use did okay so goes goes is a v1 so, am i correct so and he if the statement is in he then we have to use the does so just write does the statement is in positive so we have to form negative pronoun he 
doesn't he okay doesn't he if you take another example uh <coughs> she played football she played football so how do we form this question tag for this statement just observe played is a v2 form am i correct played v1 played v2 played v3 okay again there is a v4 also just we have to add ing form for the v1 v1 plus ing form okay so now let us see played is a v2 form when there is a past tense past tense means when should be v2 form okay so she played football played is a v2 so we have to form a didn't so statement is in positive so we have to for, form a negative question tag simple didn't she didn't she okay she played football didn't she for a confirmation okay next if you take another example <coughs> i eat chocolates i eat chocolates is there only a action verb there is no helping verb so how we have to form if there is no helping verb just we have to use do does did okay so it is a v1 form if there is a v1 form i for what we have to form do so just we have to write a don't i that's it don't i uh, i played cricket i played cricket for this statement how we have to form played is a v2 so just we have to form did int i <laughs> i do not watch tvs i do not watch tv for this statement how we have to form the statement is in negative just observe the statement is in negative and do is a helping verb do is a helping verb just we have to form do i okay if the statement is in negative there will be compulsory a helping verb if the statement is in positive there will be no helping verb there is only a action verb with the help of the action verb just we have to identify the uh, do did does okay next <clears throat> which rule rule number 5 so what is the rule number 5 rule number 5 so rule number 5 if the statement starts with the there the question tag will be also there for example there are many cows there are many cows there are many cows r is the helping verb am i correct so statement is in a positive so we have to convert a negative Uh, so the answer is r in in the place of pronoun we have to use only there r in there r in there okay next rule number 6 what is the rule number 6 if the statement if the statement starts with this that these those 
then in the case of pronoun we have to use for this that we have to use a it okay in these those we have to use they okay if you take some example this is his pen this is his pen this is his pen how how we will write a question tag with the help of the helping verb is the struct sorry statement is in a positive so int is must and should so with the help of this we have to use a it okay if the statement starts with the this the pronoun should be it next for example uh <coughs> those are birds those are birds those are birds are is a helping verb statement is in positive so we have to write int and those in the place of those we have to write the pronoun they understand okay next another one <laughs> these are animals these are animals so what is the helping verb r is the helping verb statement is in positive so we have to form a negative and in the these we have to use the pronoun they so r in they r in they okay next rule number 7 so if you if you talk about a particular person particular thing then we have to use a uh, pronouns for example this girl um this book is very useful okay this book is very useful for this statement just observe in this statement we are talking about a particular book this book is very useful this book is i am not talking about a, a group of uh, books i am talking about only one and only book this book okay i am uh, talking about a particular thing so book is a thing so we have to use the pronoun it am i correct in this sentence these are animals okay i am talking about all of the animals just i am not i am talking about a particular animal i am talking about all of the animals but in this statement i am talking about a particular book okay so when we talk about a particular book or particular person particular thing we have to use a particular pronoun for for feminine gender we have to use a she masculine gender we have to use a he so for the things we have to use it so is is the pronoun so isn't it isn't it okay next for example this boy this boy on the race this boy on the race in this sentence i am talking about a single boy <coughs> okay <coughs> i am talking about a single boy this boy on the race okay so uh, when i am talking about a particular person i have to use a pronoun boy he okay so let us see is there any uh, helping verb no but own is a v2 form own is a v2 form so when there is a action verb is in past tense we have to use did so didn't didn't 
boy is a masculine gender so for a masculine gender we have to use the pronoun he for example these boys these boys own the race these boys own the race for this example boys is in is a plural form i am not talking about a particular boy okay so in this sentence the boys is a plural form when there is a plural form just we have to use didn't didn't boys is a plural form for plural form we have to use they not these okay these means already we have discussed in the previous these we have to use the pronoun they okay so these boys own the race in this sentence i am not talking about a particular boy i am talking about a group of boys but in this sentence i am talking about a particular boy this boy own the race okay this is the difference next our rule number rule number 8 rule number 8 have has had so in this uh, for example if you take a she has bought a car she has she has bought a car so she has bought a car in this statement has is the helping verb so again in this statement there is only a positive there is no negative sentence so we have to form a negative statement so as int as int pronoun she pronoun she okay next birds have wings birds have wings in this statement what is the action verb there is no main verb am i correct there is no main verb there is only a helping verb when there is no main verb the helping verb will be the main verb just listen carefully when there is no main verb the uh, main uh, helping verb converts as a main verb okay so it is a uh, consider as a main verb then where is a helping verb where is helping verb so when there is a no helping verb just we have to use do does did have do okay has does had did okay i we you they she he it we do okay birds have wings birds have wings so there is a no main verb so we have to consider helping verb as a main verb then where is the helping verb just yes, we have to use when the have helping verb when the statement having a help helping verb have we have to use do okay so don't they don't they why i why i have used the uh, pronoun they because birds birds is not a singular word birds bird is a singular word birds is a plural word when we use a plural words we have to use the pronoun they okay did you understand now uh, if you take uh, she had she had bought a car so in this sentence there is a main verb there is a helping verb so help we have to use only a helping verb had in she had in she she had a car 
she had a car in this statement there is no helping verb so the main verb uh, sorry there is no main verb so just you have to consider helping verb as a main verb so then what about a helping verb uh, for had we have to use a did so didn't didn't she didn't she okay this is the another rule next for rule number 9 rule number 9 if the statement starts with if the statement starts with somebody anybody anyone someone no one everyone everybody the pronoun should be they the pronoun should be they for example if you take an example uh, see somebody is watching somebody is watching for this statement how we have to convert it as a question tag <coughs> the statement is a, sorry the helping verb is is the statement is in negative is a positive so we have to use negative then what about a pronoun so if the examples like some if the statement starts with somebody anybody everyone anyone someone none nobody then we have to use the pronoun they we have to use the pronoun they okay uh, for example anyone can attend the party anyone can attend the party then how will the statement it convert as a <coughs> question tag so can 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 plus not can't it is a modal verbs okay could plus not couldn't will plus not won't not a will not okay won't <coughs> shall plus not shan't shall plus not shan't next uh would plus not wouldn't these are the helping verbs okay so can the statement is in a positive so we have to convert as negative can is a modal verb so can can't can't anyone anyone when there is a anyone we have to use the pronoun they we have to use the pronoun they okay these are the main rules next another rule <clears throat> our rule number 10 if the statement starts with something anything everything nothing then we have to use the pronoun it because thing thing <coughs> for things we have to use the pronoun it so just remember something anything everything nothing we have to use the pronoun it for example uh, everything is uh, arranged everything everything is arranged everything is arranged then how it will convert as a question tag isn't everything so we have to use the pronoun it we have to use the pronoun 
it. Okay. And uh, one more example. Nothing. If the example is not uh, starts, uh, sorry, if the statement is starts with nothing, we have to use the statement in positive. For example, uh, nothing is permanent. Nothing is nothing is permanent. So for this statement, just observe. Is is the Positive, uh, sorry, is is the helping verb, but the statement nothing, nothing is a negative form. So we have to use in a positive. So is it? Okay, is it? So nothing is permanent. Is it? Everything is arranged. Everything is a positive, uh, positive words. So we have to use a negative. So nothing is a negative word. We have to frame a question tag in positive. Okay, next rule number 10. Now, rule number 11. There are some uh, negative words like seldom, rarely, scarcely, no, none. Hardly. These are some uh, negative words like uh, neither. Okay, these are the negative words. Okay, if you take example, uh, Pavan seldom visits our home. Pavan seldom visits our home then how will the statement uh, then how will the question tag will be just observe is there any uh, pause, uh, helping them no is there any not in the statement no but seldom is a negative word seldom is a negative word so when there is a negative words in the statement we have to use a, a positive question tag we have to use a positive question tag. Okay. So let observe. There is a no helping verb, but there is an action verb. Visits. Visits. So Pavan is a he. Pavan, he. When there is a masculine gender, we have to use the helping verb does. Okay. So does he? We should not write. Doesn't he? We should not write doesn't he because seldom is a already a negative word. In the statement, there is a already negative. For the confirmation, we have we, we have to ask the question tag in a positive. So when there is a negative word, we have to form a positive question tag. Okay, next. This is the rule number 11. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> so these are the rules for question tags. Okay. Uh, so just you have to prepare a question tags. Only the if you prepare a rules, you can easily write the question tags. You can easily frame a question tag. Am I correct? So main rule is we have to follow the, if the statement is in positive, just we have to write the negative. If the statement is in uh, negative, we have to form a positive. Okay. And another one, if the statement uh, having a helping verb, you have to use the helping verb like is, am, are, was, were. If the statement is in a negative, so sorry, if the statement uh, doesn't consist of a helping verb, just we have to use a do, does, did. Okay. These are the main uh, points or main rules for the question tag. Okay. See you again. Thank you.